So in this video, we are going to see what is Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is Microsoft browser when they went away from Internet Explorer finally. <coughs> Internet Explorer uh, was a big thing with Windows XP. Inter I think it was Internet Explorer 6. Um, and all the web developers, they were optimizing their sites for Internet Explorer and they're not caring about the other browsers and all that and then you know every great thing has come to an end that's what happened to Internet Explorer and finally there were a lot of uh, bugs and all that that were affecting Internet Explorer then Firefox came then finally Google Chrome and now Google Chrome is the dominant one. My the Microsoft's um, trying with Internet, uh, sorry, with Edge uh, to take back its place, but only time will tell. <clears throat> so Edge is a good browser. Um, it's okay, but. Uh, I still uh, use uh, uh, you can see there are all three here this is my um, main host machine so I do use, uh, use these three um, but uh, Google Chrome it's still the lightest fastest um, you know easier to use like it's n it does not uh, bulk up your system so but we have to go through with the uh, uh, edge so let's find out uh, what it is Microsoft introduced really good features in it uh, I like them um, so one one cool really cool feature is this one we're gonna talk about it let's see if there's anything no nope, not yet okay so what happened <clears throat> First, let's go through the usual thing. So, what's the difference between Microsoft uh, Edge and is there an uh, Internet Explorer as well in here? Internet, yes. So you see, uh, see the difference in the logo. And Microsoft they actually has a third browser as well. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's based on Google Chrome, Chromium uh, browser. It's called uh, Edge Chromium or something. You can search it. Microsoft is uh, actually the biggest uh, non-Google entity uh, that's uh, using uh, or taking advantage of that uh, free Google Chromium uh, and you know building their browser around it. So, what's the difference between Internet Explorer and Edge? Edge is for everybody. And do I have an Internet Explorer and Pro as well? yes I do so for Internet Explorer is uh, there for the sites that don't work in Edge they are using old scripts um, or they have using they are using old technologies that require Internet Explorer and they don't want you to keep using Internet Explorer for everything else so that's why Internet Explorer is still there most of those websites they will be internal websites as well I, at our work we have in the stand and we do sometimes need to access a certain website that's not working in Chrome we have to open it in Internet Explorer so that's why Internet Explorer 11 is still in Windows 10 so that's the difference between Edge and Internet Explorer uh, but I'm sure you're pretty familiar with the Internet Explorer from the previous version of Windows. So these three dots bring you a new window. So if you click on it, you get a new window in here. You see a new one popped open. In private window, it's just equivalent of Google Chrome's uh, incognito or Firefox private window. They Microsoft just named it in private zoom zoom is the one that goes makes uh, uh, the text or website grow big or lower there was a very funny call and you know you see that's how zoom worked so there was a funny call a colleague of mine she was on the phone for like uh, when we were new uh, at the job and we do support for emails uh, through the website and she was on the 
phone the decline for like uh, maybe f hour 30 minutes something like that and the old lady on the other end was saying that she cannot see what my colleague wanted her to see and you know she was saying that she all she sees a big thing and she does not see the next line and all that but turned out that she had her zoom to the maximum i don't know what the maximum is yeah it was something like this probably more than that because she was just saying one word and our site has like two three lines just that <clears throat> for the email so my poor colleague had to you know I just imagine how long the call was she had to send her uh, get her send her invitation for go to assist log on her to computer and she's seeing it and she's wondering what's going on so when I stopped by her and I was like what you are doing so I told her just fix the zoom and it, this should go away and that was the case as soon as she fixed the zoom on the thing uh, <laughs> the lady and my colleague both could see uh, what to, uh, the web page correctly so be sure if you are working with somebody who's elderly they might have this option like you know really blown up favorites is the one that you can use favorites by uh, this website so how do you add to favorites is by the, pressing this one and once you press it see that's what I was saying that uh, it's a little bit bulkier it's slow to respond so yep so you can add favorites right there favorites bar Microsoft team training you can add it um, okay add tabs to favorites so if I click it here it's added but these are the tabs that you can we don't want the tab we want to use the website let's type in Google and now it gives you an option right here so from here you can add it add to Google add and it shows up in favorites right there so that is your favorites as well from here reading list is what you have been reading uh, this one is like if you add a web page for example let's go to Yahoo thank you opening stupid pages Yahoo that's <laughs> why I uh, use uh, edge less and less it gets bulkier so <clears throat> this is add notes and from it, a lot of the bu buttons they have the same features over and over again it's becoming a Microsoft thing so reading list is that if you add it and you save it this web page you will save it as an OneNote as a favorite or reading list so you want to know this is in the list that I added actually the whole thing let's say oh so now it's been added you can save it save so let's exit out of here you go there in In your reading list and web notes this is your web note now it's a big website and you will say what needs to be and there is it you marked it which one to read 
that's how reading list works so the next one is books books is Microsoft uh, like you can sign into Microsoft account I and Windows 10 is big on using Microsoft accounts so if you have a Microsoft account you can down, uh, download books just like Kindle Amazon Kindle or Google books and read them in either in edge uh, on the computer or on your iOS and Android as well and then next you have history we are pretty aware of what history is <clears throat> it's the list of website that you have uh, visited and then you can go it's pretty good if you are searching uh, or researching something and you remember that you read somewhere and then but don't remember the exact links or the website you can go back and find that information download whatever you download is in the downloads folder so you, it will tell you what you downloaded in the past so Ian Parker Firefox all this so and then you have extension just uh, taking all page from Firefox uh, and uh, Google's list you can get the extensions and add them to your um, browser functionality like Grammarly is very popular now nowadays and you have show in toolbars like what toolbars you want to show up print print it has a nice feature that I found uh, I knew it only existed in Chrome but now it's in Microsoft as well uh, print to PDF so this one if you have for example if you print to PDF redirect it to so these are different options you can choose your printer or you want to save a document as a PDF so that helps for example um, you are going through your emails and then you don't want to eat. Um, you know uh, it's like conversation of 20 emails if you print them it's going to be paper with all the stuff but PDF is much easier it's still in the same order and you have the PDF you don't have to waste it on papers and get that so I like the PDF feature. It also helps you with your uh, all the online stuff that you don't don't want to keep printing. And imagine how much this will use the ink in terms of uh, color inks. So just save it as a PDF, and it has it goes like these pages. So find on the page. So let's see. Ugh. You type in hit enter no results it's right there oh I'm not on the website I am on the um, image let's go and find I search and it I did not type it in it was already typed and you see UGD so that's how it works and now it's not showing up here because the page changed with the new one new contents and then you have read aloud page so read aloud works by a u.s city is shaken by coronavirus people from wuhan china who now live in pittsburgh its sister city are sending aid to relatives and friends trapped in the center of a deadly outbreak it's a small world after all 927 people reacting a shamed simpson underwent secret surgery <laughs> Walmart marks down instant pot. Okay, Product enough. is wonderful. 49ers play. <laughs> so that's how read aloud work. It reads the web page for you. So these are all things that, but if it was an article, you could just do that and keep doing your work and it will keep reading the article for you. And then you have pinned this page and toss bar. Like it will be permanently there. So if I do that,
I don't see it showing up on the taskbar I think when I close it it will be here so open this page on the taskbar anyways let's next one is more tools what are the add notes uh, no, yes notes so add notes is just like here what we did we remember we added it to our uh, list so we can do it we can highlight thing like this uh, we can erase it we can put a mark our note on it and we can save it so now it, it could be in one note favorites or reading list and that's how we add notes and then more in the more tools we have shared this space just like on the phone we can send it to people's from right from the uh, our browser we can mail it skype your phone copy link one node whatever cast media to device it's just exactly like if you know google chrome uh, microsoft has miracast so if there is a device available nearby that has that technology you can cast media whatever you're playing in edge browser send them to your tv now this one is open with internet explorer so if that site is not acting properly in edge you can send it to internet explorer 11 pin this page to start so we don't I don't know if start is on the start or start here so let's try that actually and this again I clicked there I wanted to see that pin this page to start start yeah so I don't know if the start of the edge browser as a home or in the start menu itself and I think it's right here Yahoo correct we can try it one more time by going to Google and pin this page to start yes and it show up there so these are <laughs> next developer tools are just like taking a literal page out of a Firefox book and see how slow it is yep so this is the one I know this uh, from very long ago because many 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 years ago I uh, used this side to pinpoint my themes in WordPress and do the modification it was a great thing like you could click here and you will see where exactly the code is and what needs to be changed and then you have the settings like normal you have the customize <coughs> you want to choose a theme light microsoft edge with what start page new tape new tab page previous pages whatever top sites and suggested content so when open uh, when you open one there what are the tiles in here do you want the favorites part to show up or not show the home button that's uh, right there this one uh, show sites i frequently visit in top sites books reading PDF files definitions in line for like hey this is a P book this is a reading or whatever where to save downloads and what to do with each download and this is Microsoft Edge version and HTML and all that privacy and security we want to like browse data when when your browser uh, uh, when a site is not acting uh, probably properly you have it helps to clear all the cache and the site loads properly sometime clear data from books cookies do you want them used or do you want to block them if you block them some pages might not load properly media licenses is lists sites have on my device so do you want that or not do not track request I turn it on basically all these websites they can track where you came from and where you are going next so these parts 
they track your own online activity make a profile of you based on the sites you visited uh, like your interest and then bombard you with the advertisement so that's how when you are searching for an SSD and you start seeing an ad for a local uh, electronic store you get the picture show search and site suggested it's pretty self-explanatory block pop-ups yes on windows defender smart screen yes password do you want the password to be saved yes if you have saved them you can manage it from here and you can see what passwords are saved save from data like whatever what your name address zip code edc and save cards these are your credit cards bank information advance do you want to use adapt adobe flash player or not as of December 2019, Google has stopped supporting Flash on its OS uh, browser, so it's pretty obsolete. Even uh, Adobe, uh, you know, stopped developing Flash. There was too many uh, vulnerabilities, so everything is moving toward HTML5. Media autoplay, do you want it allow or not? I will block it because all of a sudden some files start playing. You don't know where it is, and it's one of the tabs. It's stupid. Website permissions, we can manage them. Proxy setup is uh, when you use a proxy server to access uh, sites or something. Open sites with apps, like for example, uh, if you click on a link that is a Twitter link, then your Twitter app will take over. Uh, if uh, you for so it's for all these apps so they will not be opening in browser even though they have browser support they open in their native apps and then cortana cortana it's like assist with you in microsoft edge like it keeps a permanent eye what's being typed searched and viewed and then help you supposedly help you uh, getting more content that you might like and address bar search <coughs> uh, google came up with that that you can search from the address bar so obviously microsoft has default if you want you can change it to the other drop two ones so this is it uh, let's go with this one so we have yahoo open we have google and for example somebody came up or you had to go and you're not done with these web pages you can click on this button that says set these tabs aside i'm not done with them they are st i still need to do it and you get a clean slate you can go to office 365 on this one so what happens when you're done here you go back there on this one see all your tabs you have two options you can either click just one tab and it will restore like this or you can click restore tabs and everything gets restored this is a nice feature and this is it about the microsoft edge if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one